Good evening, Pauline Clark, and welcome to the Garage Theatre. Good evening, Eileen. Thank you very much for having me. And what are you going to do for us this evening? I'm going to do a monologue from Dear Arabella, a play by Mary Jones, and I will be playing the character of Arabella. And can you tell me a little bit about Arabella? Well, Arabella is, um, well, I don't know, would you describe her as an upper class uh, lady or born into a, a kind of effluent family and um, she is grieving. She's stuck in her grief. And I think all the characters in, in, in this play are all stuck in grief. Um, and she's grieving the loss of her husband who was killed at war. Um, she's also grieving the loss of her family, her mother and father, and the loss of a potential family that she could have had of future generations that um, she could have had. So she is, she's stuck in this grief and it's very, very sad and very lonely, but um, she sees this woman on, on a beach, on the beach that she usually, um, she lives beside and she usually goes to every day and she sees this woman and to her, she's, she's just going crazy on the beach. She just, she's got this freedom about her that Arabella never had and she's very intrigued by her and she wants to be with her but she's afraid and she's she's lonely and she's become lonely because of her grief and she also wouldn't have that many friends probably her only friend would be the housekeeper but um so it, it, she's she's a sad character a beautiful character but a sad character and it takes this woman on the beach, just witnessing her doing this act of freedom of just letting all loose and letting go of herself to click something in her, to let her move on in her life, to realize that there is something else there. Well, you never get to know what else she does do, but you know that she does change and she moves on and she's happier. Oh, right. She sounds like a lovely character. Oh, she is. She really is. And, oh, she was a pleasure to do. Right. Do you and, find it, you fall in love with the characters that you do? Oh, definitely. Well, initially, I was supposed to do Elsa, which was uh, uh, Joanne, Joanne's character, which she plays. But um, then it was just changed to Arabella. And then I just thought, oh, my goodness. That, uh, yeah. It's, she's definitely me. I couldn't see myself doing Elsa now. It, it just definitely couldn't. Um, she's just a wonderful character. It is, you do feel sorry for her in, in a way that she lost all, all those years in her grief. But at least there was a light at the end of the tunnel and, you know, she is... Oh, you know. Right. And how did you get involved in acting, Pauline? Well, I, I would have loved acting when I was at school, drama when you were, I was at school. Um, but, and even watching people in, in plays, I would have always loved to have been up there. Um, I was, my pa parents and my sisters would always say I was the dramatic one. But I didn't actually start drama till later on in life when a friend actually took me by the hand and put me, my, my name down for a play, which... I was so nervous, I was very, very shy, and um, who'd have thought? <laughs> but um, I did say to them, look, I'll help in the background. I did audition, I got a part in Terry Flynn, and then it just started from there. I couldn't get enough of it. It really just awoke, it woke something up in me, and I was doing every play that I could do, and uh, it was nearly overlapping plays, um, because I just loved it. And have you any preference? Like, would you prefer comedy or uh, serious play? Or have you any preference? No, well, I do. I like them all. I have done farces, comedies, uh, serious plays, um, dramatic plays. I like them all, uh, but I do tend to lean more towards dramatic plays. Um, it's lovely to do comedy, but if I would feel if I did comedy all the time that I'd be longing to do a bit of drama, serious drama. Um, I would love to do something, a real action piece to get my teeth into, <laughs> but um, uh, that, that's what I'd, I'd love to do in the future maybe, but uh, 
you know, I don't mind doing any character. Like, I actually love not looking like myself. Do you know if you can make me look really ugly or fat or, or anything crazy? I, I just love doing that because it just takes you out of yourself and it is brilliant. To be up on the stage, I would find that I would be able to do anything on the stage that I would not do in real life. There's no way. <laughs> And what about film work? Have you done much film work? I've done a small bit of film work. I, I, small bits where I did go to a course up in Dublin and I did uh, how to act in front of the camera. And um, I also did a short film. I did the scenes around the circuit festival scenes. And it was just, I loved it too. You know, it's just there's nothing about acting that I that I don't love. I just, it, it's fascinating to me. It's completely different on the camera than it is on stage, but it's just great. <laughs> and you've also done a bit of directing as well, haven't you? Yes, I have. Um, kind of, I think I was thrown in at the deep end for the first time, uh, as in some of the directors that were involved they wanted to, to actually do a bit of acting instead and well I put my hand up and I said yes I'll try it this time. Now I did get a great amount of help from them but um, and then I directed a couple of um, original plays and a couple of other plays from local artists, uh, writers and um, it's very different and, and you're nearly can feel yourself kind of wanting to be up there and, and doing it, but um, I do find that I'm more nervous watching them acting when, when I've directed something than I would be if I was up there acting myself. And it is, um, you have to just take a deep breath and just <laughs> hold on and just let them at it. <laughs> right, and now also Colleen, did I hear you'd started up your own business? Oh, I did. It's just a small uh, business. It, it's a craft business, which COVID, the pa pandemic has um, they've come out of the, the woodwork nearly. Uh, and it's brought a lot of creativity. And what my, I was always a sewer, um, whether I did, I did a lot of wedding dresses and Deb's dresses. But I got away from that. And um, after so many years of it, and I the pandemic has, has, has brought back a love of sewing for me and um, I'm doing little bits and pieces, uh, things like they're made out of fabric and anything like I could look a bit of at a bit of fabric and say, oh, I think I'll make an apron out of that. And so I'm doing aprons, bucket hats, fabric boxes, bowl cozies. There's no set thing. It's just um, whatever I feel like making. That's what I put up on Instagram and it's fourth star underscore designs. <laughs> well, you're a very creative person, aren't you? So what if, what's, what's next in store for you? Oh, I don't know, but I am very open for whatever comes and bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Pauline, thank you for coming by. Thank you very much for having me, Eileen. Thank you.